So I heard you want to beat the Lost Sector fast. Let me now, I'll be running this Lost Sector with a very in-depth build that I made a whole video on previously. I'll briefly describe the build after I show you the location of today's Lost Sector. The exotic armor in rotation today is Helmets. Today we'll be clearing with just one class, but there are builds for all three classes in the description. And with that out of the way, what's good guys, it's Zen, thanks for choosing my channel, and let's hop right into today's guide. Alright, now for today's Lost Sector, we're going to be dealing with Barrier and Unstoppable Champions. Now with that being said, for the build today, we're going to be using my Infinite Grenade build with Shinobu's Vow and Arc Hunter. And for our weapons, we're going to be using Wish Ender, a Glaive, and the Chain of Command Machine Gun. Now Wish Ender is here due to its heavy damage and the fact that it stuns Barrier Champions. The Glaive is here to stun those Unstoppable Champions, and Chain of of command is here due to that heavy build synergy and the fact that it has osmosis turning it into an arc machine gun which takes advantage of the arc surge lasting all season giving it a 25% damage buff now guys there is so much going on with this build so I highly recommend checking out the build in the description I mean we're talking about four second cooldown on our grenades if that doesn't convince you I don't know what will but with that being said you're about to see how good it is in the gameplay so let's hop right into the guide all right now the second we hop in the lost sector first thing we're gonna do is throw our grenades because we have infinite of them you saw we just threw two but we already have one and a half charge absolutely insane stuff we would have more if we picked up orbs and if we dodged now we're gonna shoot that moth because it does big damage i believe it can one shot you guys here you guys are definitely gonna want some arc resistance for that and there are also some witches obviously you see the wizard firing at us right now now i am pushed up too close you guys are gonna want to sit in the hallway in my opinion but we are just making quick work of everything now these acolyte they're gonna spawn in about three waves from the left and the right side you saw we absolutely melted the wizard as fast as we could because if you don't take care of him first it's just gonna be trouble for you guys it's gonna be very very annoying we're just gonna spam our grenades aimlessly though and everything is just gonna fall over now all the ads are dead so we're gonna start taking care of this barrier knight we're gonna throw our grenade first to activate the osmosis on our chain of command that's going to make it an arc which takes advantage of the arc surge lasting all season now at that point in time a hive light bearer is going to spawn and it does have the arc it is a uh warlock storm trance super so you guys are going to want to melt it as fast as possible if you can before the super goes off we were actually able to men to manage to do that which is fantastic gonna have to finish it or it's gonna respawn and the second that dies the next door is gonna open now you guys are gonna have to pay attention here because what we need to do is there's a barrier champion in this room and in this hallway rather and if we don't melt this barrier champion as fast as possible it's gonna move into the next room and at that point it becomes very very difficult to deal with because in this room there's an unstoppable champion and there is a hive guardian but it's gonna be the hunter which absolutely one shots you with its blade barrage super so you saw we were able to take care of it before we activated this room and what I mean by that is when you step forward all the ads in this room actually spawn so you see there's two ogres in the back You're gonna want to take care of as many acolytes as possible because they are just spamming those fireballs at you which does really really big damage you're probably also going to want some solar resistance on top of the arc resistance to compensate for that maybe even concussive dampener if you guys can fit that so at this point in time what we're doing is again we're just trying to clear out those acolyte before the ogres are actually on top of us that way we can deal with the ogres without getting fireballed constantly which is super super annoying so we're going to throw our super at the unstoppable ogre now honestly i would recommend that you guys save your super for the light bearer but it just so happens that the ogre is actually sitting right on top of the light bearer so we got quite quite lucky there and that is going to contribute to how short this run is now i'm going to tell you guys in the title do not farm this but again if you guys are using this build it just makes everything so damn easy now you i'm going to leave that in the video because honestly that's going to help you more than acting like i did this without dying i mean the point of this is to help you guys clear the lost sector easily right it's not to act like i'm the best player in the world so as you can see the blade barrage can one shot you so you guys are going to want to be very careful of that i do have solar resistance mods but it still one shots you it probably doesn't if you're 1830 but for all of my lost sector guides i am at a maximum of 1815 again because that's going to help you as much as possible if i'm just breezing through it then i'm going to clear it too fast and i won't be able to give tips now at that point in time we have killed the barrier we've killed the unstoppable we've killed the hunter hive guardian so at that point we just clear ads 
kill all the mobs and then as you can see the next door is gonna open now we're just gonna have to go through you know a nice little hallway here and then we are actually gonna be in the boss room already which is fantastic now in this boss room we see the hive doing some type of cult activity I don't know what they're worshiping but we're not having it we're not having it we're gonna throw a grenade and absolutely disrupt whatever they were doing now as you can see we have used one round of our machine gun not even and the boss is already less than half HP I mean guys this boss just has no HP so if you can get the jump on it you can melt it so damn quickly especially if you're using an arc heavy especially if you're using this build because at this point in time the second we see the boss we can throw our super and boom it's just dead and then we just have the barrier which we can take care of very easily with our super so we actually opted to use our super on the barrier champion because at the same time, the boss is getting hit by that just a little bit, and boom, just like that, the Lost Sector is already cleared. And guys, this is a really, really easy farm today if you're using this build. And that's going to be the guide, guys. Hopefully this helped. If it did, be sure to subscribe as I post Lost Sector guides daily. Either way, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Peace.